King Dinosaur, 1955, directed by Bert I. Gordon, starring William Bryant, Patty Gallagher, Douglas Henderson, and Wanda Curtis. An Earth-like planet appears in our solar system. A group of scientists are sent up to explore the planet, where they encounter prehistoric beasts. This film has only four actors in it. That doesn't sound too crazy, until you realize the majority of the film was constructed out of stock footage. There is enough stock footage in this film to make mid-60s Godzilla movies blush. There is even footage from other low-budget films used in this one. It launched the directorial career of Bert I. Gordon, who made a name for himself during the giant monster craze of the 50s while having the world's most ironic initials. This film was allegedly made on a $15,000 budget in seven days with borrowed equipment and deferred salaries. It honestly looks like four actors were driven into a forest preserve to shoot their scenes and that was that. There isn't even a spaceship interior present in this film. I never thought I'd see a man trip down a hill and wrestle an alligator, but here we are. Yes, this really happens in the film. Real reptiles were used to portray the dinosaurs in the film. They're pitted against each other for the fight scenes. Had PETA been around during the 50s, they would have gone insane when this came out. Animals absolutely were endangered in the making of this film. If that doesn't bother you, then the fact that the majority of the film is boring might. Very little honestly happens in this film. How or why the planet appears in our solar system is never even explained. Verdict? Thumbs down. I was incredibly uncomfortable watching real animals getting exploited, and this film doesn't offer anything to redeem this. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling low-budget adventure.